Good afternoon. On behalf of Northampton High School and the Northampton Public School System, I welcome you to the commencement ceremony for the graduating class of 2017. First, I must acknowledge it is clearly very hot and will possibly feel more, more so as we proceed. With this in mind, one, I want to point out we have water bottles in the back as well as bubblers. Please avail yourself of those. Um, I also guarantee and promise that we will make every effort to be as precise and efficient combined with the proper sense of class and occasion to allow for a timely graduation. As we begin, I would like to invite you to remember Laura DePillo, a member of the class of 2017 who passed away in our ninth grade year. Please join me in a moment of silence to remember Laura's smile and unforgettable laugh. Thank you. It is with great honor and pride that I address you this afternoon. I am joined on stage with Superintendent Dr. John Provost, School Committee Chair Mayor David Narkowitz, and Associate Principal Celeste Malvezzi and, and Lori Valancourt. Class of 2017, you have earned the right and privilege to be here today. You have completed and succeeded in all that we have asked of you, and now you sit here on your graduating day ready for the next steps that you have chosen. I am sure there is much mixed emotions, excitement, and anxiety. Graduation means many things to many people. To me, it's a celebration. It's a celebration that marks an end to a past and a beginning to a future. It is also, in my opinion, one of the last, if only one ritual that we are all expected to complete. It is a ritual that in many ways connects all of us with a similar experience where you are acknowledged and welcomed into the adult world. Graduation acknowledges that you have completed and accomplished a body of work and a development of skills that provides you the means and abilities to engage and be an successful adult in the adult world, whether, whether you continued education or your career path. There are no more parent meetings or parent calls to inform of your absences or to bring your lunch to school because you forgot it at home. Yes, your family and friends will be there to assist you and support you, but today is the moment that you move forward as young adults creating your own unique lives. With that in mind, I have three wishes and three hopes for you. First, I wish you happiness and success in whatever you do. Second, I wish you a strong mind, a mind that is both critical and analytical, a mind that is flexible, and a mind that questions and desires to learn and grow. Lastly, I wish you a strong heart, a heart that instills with you passion, compassion, empathy, kindness, and love. I believe that with a strong mind and a strong heart, you will be able to face the challenges that await you and provide you with the success and happiness I hope for you all to achieve. Finally, I need to share with you that graduation has always had mixed feelings for me. Yes, there is certainly the feeling of, yes, they are graduated, they are gone. And that, and that feeling is great. Trust me, in about 90 minutes, it's going to be even better. But it's the other side of this, the other side of you being gone that is hard. The other side represents that you no longer will be at NHS, and there will be a unique void of what you brought and gave us every day. This really hit home during Friday's senior breakfast and graduation rehearsal. Your behavior, your attitudes, your interactions, your smiles, your laughs, were all simple gestures that brought home how much I, we, the staff at Northampton High School, 
will miss you. I can say, I think I can speak accurately and strongly for the staff that we generally feel lucky and blessed with the students we are privileged to teach. And this group of students certainly supports and continues this feeling. You are a good, you are a strong class, and we are proud of your accomplish, accomplishments and proud of the young people you have become. You've impressed upon people in the way you carry yourselves, the way you interact and treat each other, educators, and with the community at large, that you are caring and good people. More than ever, the world today needs more people who care about one another and treat each other with kindness, acceptance, and respect. This is the class of 2017. Best to all of you. Thank you. And now I would like to call up Maddie Tacey, class president, for some reflections. Hello, class of 2017. Can you believe that we are at the threshold of a new beginning? As I was thinking back on our freshman year, I remembered how anxious and excited we all were. Anxious because we were in a new place with new people and poised to begin new activities. Some searched for their spot on the field, others on the stage, others in the classroom, others in clubs, but we all searched for our spot in our peer groups. We were excited to try new things, meet new people, and challenge ourselves to find our own niche at NHS. Starting with freshman year, we worked to build a strong community, a community that each and every one of us could rely on. And at the same time, we worked to fit into the bigger picture of NHS. We use the support of this community to help us succeed socially, academically, and as a class, financially. We had a pretty good prom, didn't we? How about the picnic? And the breakfast on Friday? Pretty good, huh? And they all said it wouldn't happen. Four years ago, all of this was unthinkable. But as our individual talents grew and pulled us together, we were able to create opportunities for our class through our determination, motivation, and collaboration. Without each singular effort, our notable accomplishments would not have been achieved. Think about Nick Smith and Patrick Quinlan dashing across the finish line, claiming their titles of all Americans. Do you remember the Friday night in September, the 16th to be exact, when our football team faced Longmeadow and beat them for the first time in 20 years? The excitement was palpable and the joy was real, and they said it wouldn't happen. And what about Lily Rogers? She's the key club governor of the New England region. Then, there's Caitlin Richmond, a three-season athlete who recently found herself placing 11th at the state golf sectionals. These are but a few of the individual accomplishments that pulled us together. However, each and every one of us in our own personal pursuits have emerged to show our strengths, passions, and character. Our teachers, coaches, friends, and especially our families have recognized our determination, motivation, and success here at NHS. Do you all recognize it? Because this is the community we have built. And it doesn't end here. We need to take our strengths, passion, and character with us as we move forward, facing that same anxiousness and excitement that we felt freshman year. A new community awaits us, whether it be in the workforce, 
higher education, or in the military. It is necessary that we draw from our already established foundation while we are faced with new beginnings, challenges, and uncertainties. This can be scary, but if we use the knowledge, experiences, and the many lessons learned through our high school careers, we will be able to make ourselves part of a new community in which we can seize endless opportunities. There are still records to be set, glass ceilings to break, jobs to be won, and differences to be made. For graduation is not only an ending, but a beginning. As we move forward, we must not forget the path we took or the people who supported us along the way. As Bossa told me many times, no one gets to where they are alone. There has always been a helping hand, a loving family member, and a passionate teacher. I hope you all take this moment to remember who inspired you, who guided you, who picked you up when you fell down, and most importantly, who cheered you on. Class of 2017, thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve with you and grow with you. I am proud of each accomplishment and the community that we have built together. If it wasn't 100 degrees in here, I'd list you all by name, I promise. But it is 100 degrees. So let's cross that threshold together, but never letting go of the knowledge gained and the memories made here at Northampton High School. Thank you. your time it won't be long now 
till you drag your feet to slow the circles down. So the years spin by, and now the boy is 20. Though his dreams have lost some grandeur coming true. There'll be new dreams, maybe better dreams, and plenty. Before the last revolving year is through. And now for the presentation of the Mary Gray Teacher of the Year Award, I would like to call up Ellis Gloman, Alfredo Guzman, Noel Las Panaro, and Reed Young. What's up, guys? Good afternoon, family, friends, and faculty. My name is Wilfredo Guzman, and it is our distinct honor to present the Teacher of the Year Award. This is especially important to me because of my close relationship with admiration and respect for this amazing teacher. She's changed my life, and this is an opportunity for me to both recognize her work at Northampton High School and express my personal gratitude for the difference she's made in my life. Every day, this teacher goes above and beyond to provide the help and guidance her students need to master the difficult subject of mathematics. Every time I asked her for help, she always responded with patience and tenacity and would not give up until I understood what almost seemed impossible. It's often that working with her after school was a lot. Her time was given freely, as was her profound knowledge of the subject. I always found math to be confusing and intimidating. That changed when I first had her as a teacher. Not only did she help me learn math, she helped me learn to love math. She inspired me to tackle tougher and tougher math subjects. This confidence helped me as a student in general and as a young man on the verge of making huge life decisions. And now it is my honor and privilege to present this award to none other than Ms. Matlock.
Thank you all so much for this great honor. Um, this is only my second year here at NHS, and this is a really incredible welcome. And this class means a whole lot to me because I've had a lot of them in the last two years. Uh, both years I've had a majority of junior students, and so that means I had a lot of you last year at my very first year, including Will. Um, and then I've had a lot of you this year as well. And so I feel very attached to you. <laughs> and uh, this means a lot to me. Um, Thank you for your courage and your passion and your hard work for challenging yourselves and for challenging me. Uh, I definitely feel like I've grown a lot in the last two years and I chalk that up a lot to my time with you. So thank you for that and for making me continue to want to be better. And that's what I wish for you as you go forward from here, that you would find something that you feel really passionately about and that you can spend your lives working to be the best that you can be at whatever it is that you choose to do, and above all, that you continue to learn, um, whether it's math <laughs> or not, uh, that you will continue to find things that you love and learn as much as you can about them. Such an important part of life. Be proud of yourselves today and celebrate, and uh, thank you so much for this.
now for the Academic Excellence Awards, Dr. John Provost. It is now my privilege to introduce you to five more very outstanding people. I would invite the award winners to come up on the stage as I announce their name. We'll talk about your achievements, and then when all five awards have been given, you can exit together. First, Mairead Blattner. Mairead is a well-rounded student who is interested in a career in international relations. She's a finalist in the National Merit Scholarship Program and has studied three languages during her career at NHS. She has been deeply committed to the community, particularly Northampton's Refugee Resettlement Program. One of her languages is Arabic, and she has become a trained ELL tutor through the International Language Institute. Mairead will be attending Earlham College in the fall. Scarlet Bliss. Scarlet has strong interests in science, foreign language, and travel. She has studied Spanish to an advanced level. Her extracurricular activities include Model UN, Teen Advocacy Group, and the Key Club. Scarlet is a scholar athlete who has been on the NHS indoor track teams for all four years and outdoor track teams for all four years, and this year served as the team captain. She's also been on the high school soccer team. Scarlett will attend Tufts University in the fall. <laughs> Talia Felsher. Talia is an exceptional student who has followed her interests in Hebrew and chemistry to the college level by taking Hebrew at Smith College and by working as a lab assistant in the U.S. and the UMass chemistry department. She's been involved in circus activities as an aerialist and has been the stage manager for many NHS and community productions. Talia will attend Wesleyan University in the fall. Sophia Renault. <laughs> Sophia is particularly interested in STEM sciences and plans to major in biomedical physics. She hopes to pursue a career in pediatric medicine. She's been a member of both the indoor and outdoor track teams and the soccer team and pursues interest in community service as a member of the Key Club and as a youth soccer coach. She is a dancer who is part of a local dance team, and she will be attending Northeastern University in the fall. Gretchen Savson. Gretchen has interest in environmental science and engineering and in the arts. She has been president of the NHS Environmental Club and a member of the Ceramics Club and a track team member. She is also an avid nature photographer taking photos of animal, plant, and insect life. Gretchen will attend the University of Vermont next fall. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your Academic Achievement Award winners.
drama queens I'd like to think the best of me Is still hiding up my sleeve They love to tell you Stay inside the lines But something's better On the other side I want to run
And at this time, I'd like to call up the speaker selected by the class of 2017, Emma Henderson. Hello, everybody. Hi. I love you, too. Okay. Family, friends, 
faculty, all of my favorite teachers who are here, and all the other teachers that I secretly talked crap about behind your backs. Hello. I am so incredibly honored to be speaking to you on behalf of the class of 2017. When I first got chosen to make the class speech, I was like, what the heck do they want me to say? I definitely don't feel like I have, you know, the inside knowledge on most things. What sage advice could I possibly come up with? So, I've decided to do what I've done in every single math class in high school and pretend to know what I am talking about. The speech is going to be very inspirational and quite frankly, life-changing. So, please prepare yourselves now and feel free to quote me on anything I'm about to say, okay? Uh, first, to my fellow graduates, I want you to remember something. No matter what you're doing next year, whether you're going to college next year, far away, right down the street, whatever, maybe you're starting a job right away, maybe you're doing nothing except watching the new season of Stranger Things, whatever, it's fine. Every single one of us is still growing and still changing. It's not like we turn 18 and then we graduate and we're suddenly full, responsible, full functioning adults. The last week of high school, I literally got yelled at for playing pretend volleyball with a water bottle in the hallway. Okay, there is still much more maturing we need to do. But before we do anything else, we have to be grateful. High school is something that in general you should be thankful for, but particularly our high school. I've been taking school of choice to be in the Northampton school system since fifth grade. It is such a wonderful and accepting community. From faculty to students to custodians, office ladies, administration. I mean, what other school does Pride Week like us, you know? We had so many opportunities to do different things along with our academic classes and had so much encouragement to do so. At our school, the arts are valued so highly we hang up students' artwork in the bathrooms, okay? It's pretty cool once you think about it. And also a little weird about the bathrooms, but. Now, I have a confession to make. Don't let this brilliant Einstein-like demeanor fool you. I have not been the perfect student. I haven't. I spent many class periods goofing off and daydreaming of two o'clock and sometimes actually being asleep and dreaming of two o'clock. Um, I woke up many mornings checking my Aspen to see if I could spare one more absence. I usually couldn't. So I don't feel like high school has been the best chapter of my life, but it was a chapter nonetheless. I think high school is more like the early chapter in the book where you get all the exposition rather than the chapter later in the book with the big explosive plot twist. Now, please note, I have retained some information from high school. The concept of a metaphor, as you just saw. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know, maybe I should have soaked it in a little more. Maybe I shouldn't have made so many school is like prison jokes. And maybe I shouldn't have spent so much time wishing that it would be over. But please note another thing I learned from high school. It's all about your perspective. Anything you do in your life is going to be horrible if you start off thinking that it will be. But it's never too late to take on a new attitude, pick up a new book, and if anyone ever gives you an opportunity to speak your mind in front of hundreds of people for an unspecified amount of time, take that opportunity, because your voice is the only thing you will always have no matter what. Thank you. However, however, don't take advantage of the fact that you don't have a time limit because no one actually wants to sit through a long, drawn-out speech, am I right? So, class of 2017, are you ready to graduate? Let's go, let's do it. Thank you, Emma. 
And as she indicated, we are now into the presentation of diplomas. So just give us a few minutes. Before I start, I'd like to offer my sincere congratulations to the class of 2017. Way to go. Ilsa Hendrixa. Scythian Tayaparan. Maddie Creighton Tacey. Ellis Augustus Gloman. Wilfredo Guzman III. Noah Lasapanaro. Reed Elliot Mead Young. Emma Marie Henderson. Luke Ulysses Accardi. Elliot Taylor Adams. Megan Elizabeth Addis. Larib Ali. Cynthia Nicole Alasea Vivas. Gabrielle Marie Allen. Caitlin Victoria Anderson. Stephen Maximilian Andrews. Ariana May Espinos Aquilino. Cassidy Joy Stankowitz Armstrong. Robert Edward Ballen. Zion Scott Barber. Dominic Jordan Barnes. Brittany Marie Baxa. Isaac Wycliffe Bain. Solomon Isaac Berenson. James Lawrence Berger. Timothy Michael Burnish. <laughs> D. 
Davis Michael Bernstein. Austin Richard Berry. Maraid Cowie Blattner. Scarlet Rosa Sands Bliss. Ari Samuel Burke. Ryan Tyler Braden. Alexis Roseanne Williams Brinson. Zachary Ryan Britton. Evelyn Joy Burke. Miranda Sylvia Buzanski. Calvin Ranger Calhoun. Jackson Christopher Skyler Raphael Callahan. Nicholas Raymond Capers. Cyrus Bayate Carey. Davis Karen Vera. Evan Sandro Castelli. Jack Chen. Claire Susan Chung. Rose Elsa Cole Cohen. Alexander Joseph Colson. Corinne Ellen Coriat. Alexander James Cotter. Anna Sullivan Crand. Ava Ray Crunk. Carlos Alexander Cubias Bonilla. Jose Alberto Cubias Bonilla. Elijah Devon Davis. Hannah Joy Davis. Brian DeJesus, Jr. Emma Rose Dennis Canerium.
Rhiannon Deal. Joshua Sterling Dobrow. Yinyin Maria Doherty Weinrob. Zoe Lilith Driscoll Zabar. Nicholas William Dubuque. Sarah Rose Duggan. Clara Grace Eleanor Edwards. Harrison Turner Edwards. Nicole Marie Ely. Lillian Sogmorakot Ellinger. Luna Benvenida Everhale. Jesse Evers. Andy Ryan Femiletti Mueller. Benjamin Noah Feinland. Talia Jamie Felcher. Gemma Pulston Fisher. Ian Maurice Fishman. Annika Grace Flynn. Ileana Grace Fournier. Jared David Fowler. <laughs> Bo Nerni Garbarini. <laughs> Tasia Ramihe Garcia. Naomi Bet Goldstein. <laughs> Ethan Tennant Gorman. <laughs> Matthew Richard Grimaldi. Maya Jade Grindrod. <laughs> Joanna Luisa Gutierrez Barnes. <laughs> Jocelyn Kiara Guzman. <laughs> Luke. Patrick Haas. Christian William Hadley.
Serena Rose Celine Hahn. Callum Smith Hall. Priya Han Lee. Phoebe Rose Harder. Chloe Francois Bartlett Harper. Esmeralda D'Angelique Harrison. Shannon Chapin Hobbs. <laughs> Carrie Callaghan Holroyd. <laughs> Molly Kate Hornby Finch. Emma Aileen Horton. Kara Audrey Hudson Erdman. Ian Michael Hutchins. Morgan Marie Weinberger Hutlinger. Yeah. Madeline Ann Illingsworth. Yeah. Nicole Elizabeth Jablon. Calvin Jesus James Salas. <laughs> Halua Althea Jeffwa. <laughs> Phoebe Nuan Jessup. <laughs> Lorraine. Eliza Joensen. Claire Kristen Jordan. Nadia M. Camille. Alex Katzberger. Jasper Maxwell Kezen. Robert Joseph Curvin. Claudia Fulton Cuny. Isabella Lee Cuny. Jordan Bloom Core. Simone Arnell LaPlante. Dominique Larochelle. Jared Owen Levins. Yeah. 
Carolyn Mary LaRue. Nicole Pauline LaRue. Aliyah Marie Lopez. Gabriel Paul Lyon Sosa. Colin Arnold McDowell. Delia Therese Mahoney. Michael Joseph Majewski. Layla Markosian. Joseph Humphrey Marks. Charlotte Honore Clark Marshall. Megan Elizabeth McCarthy. Molly Elizabeth McCutcheon. Rachel Eleanor McGrath. Connor Crockett McLinden. Ian O'Neill McNamara. Veronica Mystic Medina. Alexander Mark Romeo Munier. Cameron Scott Miller. Maggie Elizabeth Miller. Acacia Yadahe Milligan. Ethan Ian Milsark. Rory Jamison Milsark. Jorge Joel Montanez. Jesse Tyler Moore. Lauren Taylor Munster. Vivian Vose Myron. Zoe Elizabeth Narkowitz. (laughs) 
Ezra Nathan Steiner Norris. Lucinda Tanya Norton. Samuel Patrick Norton. Patrick Roger O'Brien. Will Bernard O'Connor. Samuel Michael Ohotnicki. Lauren Taylor Parks. Brandon Austin Paul. Sienna Cherry Polson. Meredith Grace Pavlovich. Zayadaris Pazo Perez. Robert Thorvald Peterson IV. Joseph Gabriel Pion. Catherine Michelle Plaza. Siobhan Grace Powers. Olivia Zoe Pruitt. Marley Medea Kilai Burry. Patrick Michael Quinlan. <laughs> Sophia Marie Renault. John Spencer Reynolds. Caitlin McKenzie Richmond. Emily Rose Reardon. Hanalise Isabella Rivera Lovett. Jack Christopher Rocket. Guardialis Vasquez. Lily Cornelia Brainard Rogers. Natalie Jane Ross. Theodore Alvaro Ross.
Madison Lindsay Ryan. Nell Suki Sanders. <laughs> Hennessy Michelle Santana Martinez. Gretchen Murphy Savison. Audrey Elizabeth Scalise. Carly Inman Scalzo. Grace O'Connell Schiaffo. Nathan Todd Selkirk. Sarah Rose Sharp. Griffin Scott Shaw. Anna Catherine Shaw. Alejandro Henry Shaw Carrera. Olivia Carroll Shaw Merrigan. Nicholas Joseph Skronik. <laughs> Hannah Frances Lajeski. <laughs> Emily Monique Salavka Smith. Nicholas Kudjo Hall Smith. <laughs> Julia Shana Snodgrass. <laughs> Lucas Kai Solom. Madeline Malin Stragowski. <laughs> Nicholas Michael Sylvester. <laughs> Lillian Grace Tobin Schrems. Marissa Wanlin Towsey Farr. Ruby Alexandra Townsend. Dana Madeline Tumal. Felicia Marie Venn. <laughs> Salvatore Forrest Whalen Viola. Marcus Anthony Viveros.
Emmett John Volkman. Georgina Julia Von Firth. Max Richard Walker. Savannah Lee Walker. Alexander James Warren. Christopher Green West. Trace Flynn Whalen. Ivy Whitman. Lyndon Brett Wissinus. Emily Rebecca Woodland. Allison Aline Woodring. Kaya Lee Woofenden. Nona Iglesias. Zachary David Mead Young. Summer Marie Zacharitz. And Matthew Edward Zahowski. Congratulations. Just waiting for we can all get together again. Could let those graduates please get back to their seats. We got one more thing, please. Thanks. Not that it's hot enough and want to get out of here. I don't think it's that bad, actually, surprisingly. No? All right. We're actually doing pretty good, folks. So at this time, I'm asking for the marshals. Seniors, please rise. So at this time, I ask you to please move your tassels from the right to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, I can show to you the class of 2017, Northampton High School.